there is no chance we can go through a race around here um, without flipping off of the... Someone is going to flip off the curb. Whether it's us. I mean, I'm hoping it's not us. Um, but someone is definitely flipping off of the, the final chicane bit. Um, or even off of that curb there, there's going to be some roly roly cars. Uh, right, here we go. Down towards the hairpin for the first time. My goal is to hug the inside and try and stay out of trouble. Now, ooh, we got a lot of understeer on the exit. The downside of hugging the inside line is A, you struggle on the exit, which we did. The other downside is what might happen is. Uh, uh, Oh, it's almost going to go into that hay bale. Is if someone misses the braking behind you, they'll go into you. Uh, thankfully, no one did. Not at the front group, anyway. Uh, we've got a big slipstream. There's a lot of blades up at the front. Gliska <laughs> bounced off the back of Liam's car and went for a spin. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal up there. Uh, we will be neat and tidy through this section now. We're going to try cut underneath Liam. Did not quite work. Uh, plenty of understeer from these cars, as you might expect. Uh, Lee, uh, Chris with a good run. We've got a good run as well. We are going to just about be in front, and we can tuck across uh, to get past a Liam. Chris is up onto two wheels slightly through there. That just leaves me hanging out wide through this part, uh, and we will run. Oh, God, there goes level eight. Level eight is brave. He could tulip. Uh, <laughs> good luck. Oh, Chris gives us a push. Good. I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna, hit, not gonna bump draft through that corner. That feels like a recipe for disaster. Chris has got lost. Uh, <laughs> it's almost a James May award. Uh, I don't think it was. A, it wasn't really. I don't think it was Chris not knowing where the circuit goes. I think that was Chris running out of grip, but uh, <laughs> definitely not where they wanted the car to be. Uh, <laughs> there is a uh, level eight's having a look. You're gonna no. Nope. You're going to go, I didn't know what side you were going. I was actually, I thought they were diving to the inside, so I meant to move across. But I think there's a little bit of miscommunication there uh, through that section. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're probably going to get enough of a slipstream down here to repass into the chicane. Certainly Liam will. Uh, now, are they going to go side by side on lap one? Yep. Is it a bad idea? Yep. Kaliska arrived upside down. It was a mess. <laughs> it, was, it was a catastrophic mess. I could see the mess was happening and I tried to avoid it and I still couldn't avoid it. <laughs> like there was, just, there was nothing I could do on that one. Uh, I, tr I wanted to try and go for a gap on the inside, but uh, I, was, I was a little bit too bad. I don't even think, I think even if I had managed to get to the gap on the inside, I think Gliska would have ended up wiping me out anyway because the speed I would have had to have gone, that car would have hit me. But, uh, oh well, <laughs> the chicane proved uh, chaos. Turns out going side by side, it is possible to go side by side into that chicane. It's just very difficult to do it. And it was not done successfully. Oh, Chris is back. That's, well, we've got three blades up at the front. And then we've got a Dukes. There's, I think that's Gliska's car with the smashed up face, pretty much. Oh, oh too much understeer to do. That corner is deceptively tight up there, it really is. Uh, there's no tulips left up at the, in this front group. There's a bunch of blades and Danger Man's jukes is about I think Small Man has a jukes as well. Um, none of the tulips, funnily enough, have have joined this battle particularly. Uh, oh, uh, Chris was, I think, either trying to go around the outside, I think, rather than going for a bump draft. Uh, okay, we're all good. There was definitely some bump drafting in the middle of that. It's getting a bit busy. Danger Man is to the inside. We will give some space down there. Uh, is, yeah, there's a lot of cars in a not particularly large amount of space. Plenty of bump drafting going on with the muscle cars uh, around here. Liam is going to be having a look. Danger Man, we gave him space. Danger Man's on the outside. Chris with a run but couldn't quite. There was sort of a half gap between me and Danger Man but it wasn't quite enough to do anything. Liam is going to get really stuck out wide. It is still three wide. No one wants to yield. Liam bounced off the curb and came across on us. Uh, that's, I mean, you know, what can you do, Chris? Go, 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 go. Nope, not going to work, not going to work. We are just climbing on top of Chris's car. Uh, now we're going to have to sort ourselves out through here. See, me and Liam managed to make it work side by side. Ewan has taken the lead of the race. We've got some big slipstream here that is going to propel us up into second place. We made it work. It got a little bit scruffy. It got very scruffy for quite a while. Liam with a run. We've got the slipstream now down towards the hairpin. Please stop. Okay, we left a big gap on the inside for someone to cut underneath. That's okay. I don't mind that. Sometimes, honestly, leaving the uh, leaving a gap there does mean at least... Um, 
cars have somewhere to go if it, if it goes a little awry. Um, Liam was vaguely successfully bump drafting me through that section. When I tried to bump draft Chris, it actually slowed, it slowed me down considerably. It really didn't help. So I don't know whether that's a combination of damage or what it might be. Oh, well, pfft. Chris with the straight up murder. <laughs> Accidental, but very much a murder on you. <laughs> Chris tried to bump draft. Chris, don't bump draft me like that. I don't want that. Don't want that. That's that's uh, <laughs> that, that was a bit of a bit of a brutal one. <laughs> uh, oh, Danger Man's trying to go through the middle. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold my line. There's not much I can do. We'll try and keep this around the outside. We might make it work. Uh, we will hold on for now. I'm slightly worried that Chris is going to opt to try and push me. And who knows? Okay, level 8, you can go past. Uh, can I get a slipstream from level 8 here? We're looking for a draft. We're ahead of Liam. We have got a draft from level 8. Now, there's a lot of understeer though through there. If you get the slipstream on that part, you really do. That's how I think that's how Chris wandered wide at the start. You get so much understeer if you're sat in a slipstream that you just end up out super wide. Uh, again, with a lot of pace there, but it's not a corner we can really pass on. Uh, the tulip will continue to lead the way. Chris is having a look to the outside. Once again, I think we're going to go three wide into this corner. Not quite. We sort it all out. Level 8's very slow on the exit, as is to be expected on that tight line. We'll get a better run, uh, but oh, Chris is going to find a gap. I mean, there's so many cars are turning up. Everyone is going to have to sort themselves out at some point to, to get through here. Oh, Liam's got, got airborne and we all get away with it. <laughs> that was amazingly lucky. Chris has got connected with the back of Danger Man, and Danger Man's gone round. Uh, this was <laughs> back to second. <laughs> oh, Valentine was actually quite wise and backed out of that one, uh, which actually gave me a decent... So, oh, no, there's been an error. There's been an issue at the hairpin. It's gone very badly wrong. I don't didn't see what happened. I don't know if Level 8 got a tag from behind or if Level 8 hit the hay bale. I'm going to presume they got a tag. Uh, it looked like they were facing the wrong way. Um, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate for level 8. It has spread out the field. I mean, it's very fortunate for me. We have a few corners, at least, of relative calm. Uh, this, I mean, <laughs> this track... I feel like this track sh shouldn't be the most affected by slipstream and catch-up. I don't know, actually. It's got some decent length straights. It's, it's certainly, it's like, slipstream and catch-up certainly effective around here. It doesn't take very long. Um, but there we go. Liam is back to the lead of the race. Chris the Destroyer is behind us that I'm very worried about. <laughs> like not, not intentional. It's just, it's just been one of them. It's been one of them races, really. Um, oh, actually, well, well, Chris has fallen back. Gibgob's arrived with one of the Dukes. They will take the by the looks of it. They've been in the wars. Chris has got miles of understeer, and Chris has visited the same wall again. <laughs> We need another James May award. I think we do. I, I think we do. For Chris right there. <laughs> Chris has had an adventure. If ever there was a race where you say someone has had an adventure, I feel like this one has been a real adventure for... I feel like Chris is the main character in this story. Uh, we, are just, we are just a side character at the moment. Liam is going to get a good run on the exit. Gibgob uh, gets a good drive. I mean, we're going to get a good draft down here, but I'm not keen on trying this. Uh, Liam plays that one very dangerously, but gets away with it. Uh, now, we have got big slipstream, big momentum up here. Slipstream has slightly run out at a critical point. Uh, now for us. Liam will cut across and Liam will take the lead as we head to the hairpin for the final time. Gibgob looks to the inside. I was going to try to cut back underneath but I did not have the steering to put my car where I didn't have the grip to uh, I put my car where I wanted it to be. Oh hello! <laughs> that was a big that was a big two wheel moment. Oh and I brushed the hay bales. Damn it. Oh, Hyper is passed. God damn it. We just clipped the hay bale. And that is all it took. Ah, I'm sorry, Gibgob. I do apologise on that one. We were still, I say we were still, still slightly out of sorts from a huge two-wheel moment. And, yeah, ah, that's frustrating. Having such a good race as well uh, in all of this. And, ah, silly, silly, silly little error on that one uh, is going to drop us back. Actually, not a million miles away. If we can get some good slipstream at the right moment coming up this hill, 
Uh, we were going to drag Stevie Wil no, I was gonna say we were going to drag Stevie with us up the hill, but Stevie's had an oversteer moment. I'm going to presume a little, a little moment on one of the, one of the curbs, one of the bumps. Uh, have we got? Uh, we're not quite close enough for a draft. Although we're not quite close enough for a draft, but we're not going to go careering off into the wall up there. So hyper leads from Liam and Ewan. Then it is Salmon. We are going to desperately try and get a slipstream somewhere to join in the battle. Liam has taken the lead away again. Now we have got the slipstream. Now we are here. We are in the fight. We're turning up a little bit late to this. Oh, oh we wanted to have a go. Couldn't quite make it stop in time. It is going to be a big drag race to the line. Liam is out wide and Liam has hit the grass and lost a bunch of momentum. I do not seem to have the slipstream that I am wanting through here. Hyper is going to take victory. I think Liam might have actually pushed me past Ewan. Uh, <laughs> I think. I think. Liam might have put me past Ewan on that one. Um... He did! Liam absolutely did! A bump from a bump from Liam was all it took to fire us past Ewan right at the death. Um, we do take third. Hyper takes victory. Salmon is second. Uh, we will settle for third. Good race. It was an exciting race indeed. I apologise <laughs> to Gib Cobb. That was, that was really unlucky. Really unfortunate um, in that one. Uh, yeah, Ewan will probably not be best pleased. Well, I've got an alright starting car in this. Um, you know, oh, I've got, oh no, no, controller come back! Uh, we will ha we will hear the momentary shouting of everyone. Uh, oh crap, oh crap, uh, get back in there. <laughs> From the back of the grid, a boosty rocket car, pretty good, pretty strong. Right, uh, got a lot of speed into turn one. Hello. Uh, yep, okay, not the best. I mean, it was a very, very, very strong start. Why am I sideways? Not sure. Uh, oh, <laughs> there's a tractor. Oh, please tell me that, Zav. <laughs> so funny if it was. <laughs> uh, who is it? No, I think it's Liam. <laughs> I mean, I presume it's Liam. There can't be anybody behind a tractor at this point, can there? Oh, dear. Um, right. Into the hairpin we go. Yeah, strong start for us. Slightly messed it up a little bit with a couple of minor bumps. But uh, on the whole... Oh, Ripsaw just got ejected from there. Uh, hey, Chris. Oh, Chris, I'm a limo. Uh, now I'm a hearse. Uh, I'm an out of control vehicle, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, funnily enough, fighting for control of a limo, not the easiest thing in the world. Did I really just change from a hearse into a hearse? I don't think I've ever done that. I think we've just, we have, we have remained as a hearse. I guess it's, it's statistically unlikely, but possible. Well, I mean, it happened. Hey, Shadow, we're up to third. And now we have become a good car. I will take a Turismo Classic uh, when I can, that's for sure. We can weave down here, nicking the boost pads as we go. Uh, Baller ST thing, it's again, solid. Uh, it's one of the, this is one of those vehicles that I don't care about getting, but it's not bad to, to drive. Oh, back to a Turismo Classic. The game is not too keen on the old randomizing of vehicles for me. It is... Uh, We've had, yeah, we've had a hearse twice in a row. We've had a Trismo Classic twice in one lap. This thing's crap, but at least there's a whole bunch of boost pads. Uh, we are second, currently, trying to chase down Crane for the lead. Oh, Entity. Now, we're talking. Uh, can we get some slipstream on Crane? We possibly can. Mute is behind us, but Mute was in a big truck. Uh, we have become a motorbike. Well, which isn't great, but not the worst in the world. Uh, right. Come on, Kanjo's solid as far as vehicles go. Don't know where Crane has gone. Oh, uh, no, no, not even going to risk it. Car got a bit upset trying to do that, so just not going to fight it. No, no reason to fight against the car when it's starting to do. When it's moving around, the you know the the, the half a second you might gain nicking the boost pad. It's just not worth the risk. Moonbeam, not great. Um, we can run over there to get the boost pads. 
Uh, we will become the space buggy again. We'll survive. It's not a very good vehicle, but the boost pads will at least keep us going. Uh, is that... Okay, so it's still Crane in second. Uh, Crane is continuing to chase us down in this one, which is... Uh, I mean, it's close. We've got... I mean, we, we, we've been very lucky with cars. There's not been anything crazy good for us, but it's just all been solid. Uh, solid options. This is probably a weaker bike that I would rather not have, but we can nick the boost pads and just maintain the lead. Ooh, Roosevelt, not good. Uh, not the worst, though. Like, it's not a big dump truck. Crane is catching with that sports car. I think it was a Comet of some sort. Uh, VSTR. Again, this is a solid vehicle option. Uh, oh, we will go that way. We will go that way. Dodge the go-kart. Mute has turned up with a rocket bike. Yeah, well, that'll do it. Uh, unfortunately, I won't get to use the uh, the Joya's ramp car here. Oh, no, 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 no. Asshole game. Asshole game. <laughs> I, I can't criticize too much this round, but, you know. <laughs> I can criticize a little bit when it decides to give me this. Uh... I thought for a second I thought we had a scramjet, but you know what? It's made it up to me. It's given Mute something terrible and given me a Valkyrie. And then given me a near it's, it's given me a Valkyrie followed by a Chiron. I feel like that's quite kind of you really, game. Uh, what are we gonna become next? Oh, and then an RS two hundred. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. This is what we like. Uh it's pulled it's pulled me a lead over Mute. That is who we are racing at the moment. And now I've got a rocket car again. It's wonderful. Uh, right, we can get across in front of them. Oh, now we've got a Sauber C9. What is this? Chat, you've given me all the luck. I'm not going to complain. Christ. Oh, the Winky. Oh, no. The Winky's come out. <laughs> After that run of supercars. After that run of supercars, the Winky is bound to come out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now the donks come out, which also sounds fittingly rude. Uh, <laughs> but we're still four or five seconds ahead of Mew. Come on, bike. Electro. Don't know if this is fast. It feels like it has a speedy boost. It feels like the least spectacular speedy boost of all time. Uh, oh, and then we're into a buggy. Uh, please stop. Please turn. Is this the final lap of the race? No, we've got one more afterwards. Okay, well, I feel like this has been a pretty bad combination, although it's now Longbow in second, uh, which I haven't seen well since seen where Longbow came from, but uh, yeah, that's not... Oh, no. Oh, ass. <laughs> uh, I should have ducked the other way. I thought they were going across in front, and they were not. Ah, uh, goddammit. Wow, we've fallen to fourth in all of that. Disaster. Disaster has struck at the end. We need the most ridiculous run of luck. Uh, you can imagine to be able to do this now. Futo is not the run of luck we needed. Particularly, oh, that supercar spree was beautiful, but we need the supercar spree now. We're back to an armoured Karuma. Better than a, you know, better than a rebel. I will say that much. Danger Man. Oh, what happened to Longbow? Longbow was there, and now Longbow is not there. Oh, Whiskers and Ambulance. Well, that helps me out in terms of maintaining a podium, at least. Uh, oh, Rocket Voltic is what I want, but not really at the place you want it. But there we go. Oh, there's Danger Man. We're going to soar past Danger Man. Oh, no, is the Winky to finish? No. No. Oh, wait, we're in the lead. What happened? How did that occur? How did we get first? I'm really confused. The Winky took victory. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't understand. Where did Crane go? I don't know where Crane was. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm very confused, but I don't mind. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not sure how that happened, but we got victory. <laughs> The Rocket Voltic, um, <laughs> the Rocket Voltic is what won me that at exactly the right point. Um, I just don't know where, what happened to Crane. <laughs> oh dear. 
We steal a victory from Crane at the end of that. Danger Man was desperately unlucky. Ended up in a truck at the worst point. Longbow ended up fourth. Gliska ended up sixth. Uh, Mute was right there for a while. Danger Man is not having a good day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Danger Man's not had a good day. Danger Man has been at the front consistently and just could not get a victory. <laughs> oh, poor Danger Man.